Using the slicing feature in Cricut Design Space can really open up a whole new world of opportunities. So we're going to go through exactly how to use it. My name is Kelly and let's get clacking. So to first begin explaining what the slicing tool is, I'm going to insert two different shapes into Cricut Design Space. Now what slicing does is it essentially cuts out one section of the shape from another. So we have the heart and we have a hexagon. So if we select both of these items and we click slice down here in the bottom right hand corner, what it will do is it will cut out that section of the shape and you will end up with three different parts. This is the original hexagon, this is the part of the hexagon that we've cut out and this is our original shape. But slicing can be so much more than that. When it comes to slicing we can use slicing to create a knockout design as an example. So we can start by opening a text box writing the word mom because these were very popular for Mother's Day. We can change the font make that a little bit bigger and then let's open up another text box and write I love you. Let's change the font of this as well to the pretty much the fan favorite, I love glitter. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger as well so that it kind of fits on the inside there. And I'm going to add an offset for this as this typically works the best for the knockout. Click apply and we have our two different sections. Now, if we had to select this, bring it up to this section here where we want to have our knockout design selected, we can highlight everything, align it to the center so that it's perfectly oriented, you will notice that the slice icon is actually grayed out. The reason for this is because we have more than two layers selected. So if we had to, for example, deselect the I love you font and we only select these bottom two layers, so that would be the mom and the offset of the I love you, we can now slice. So it's just important to remember when you're dealing with the slice feature, you can only select two layers at a time. So we use that and we can click slice. Now we will have the word mom with I love you cut out. We will have the section of mom that has now intersected our outline, which we can delete in this case. And we have the two different sections of the offset, which we can also delete because we don't need those. And now the I love you will fit perfectly in the middle there and that's how we can simply get our knockout designs. If you are wanting to use more than two layers to do your knockout design, as an example, we have an octagon and we have three diamond shapes. If this is something that we're wanting to do, we obviously have four layers selected, which unfortunately means that we won't be able to use the slice feature in this case. What we'll need to do here, move the octagon out, select those three items that we're wanting to work with, and we're going to need to weld them. It is important to remember that you can't unweld so if you do need them unwelded, you can either make a duplicate before you weld them, as an example. So I've just gone Control Z and pressed undo. If we do need these three separately, we can just duplicate them and keep them off to the side and then we can weld this section here. So now, because it's they're only one layer, we can actually use this for slicing. So we can now select those two layers and slice that there. And then we will have the section that we want there. If you have a photograph of something that you want to use in Print Then Cut, then using the slicing feature is a fantastic way of being able to make your own Print Then Cut stickers. I'm going to upload an image into Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how to do it. So when we upload our photo, we want to make sure that we're selecting complex and we click continue. And that is the image. We don't want to remove anything. So we're going to click continue again. And now you can choose how you want to add in your image. Because we're going to be using this as print then cut, we will not select cut image because that won't work. It'll just cut the outside. We want to make sure that we're selecting print then cut and we click upload. Then we select our image and we insert our image into design space. And now we can get started with the next step. I want to have a little heart around the horse's face. Instead of going to the shapes, I'm actually going to the image section and I'm going to search for a heart shape that I like. I like that shape, so I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to resize it so that it's the appropriate size there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. It looks like we have two layers, so we're going to select everything there and we're going to click slice. And now we will obviously have three separate parts. So this is actually the part that we don't need, so we can delete that. And we can delete that because we don't need that anymore either. Then this section is what we can use for our print then cut. So if we wanted to do print then cut, we could then have this, we could do an offset and let's just change that offset to white because obviously it would have a white border or, you know, you could do a color border as well. That's not a problem. And we could then use that for print then cut. 
by flattening the layers and we can then print that off. Another fantastic use of the slicing feature is when you have something that has a lot of words on it. As an example, it's a saying that you want to go on a t-shirt. Maybe you want to change the colors of, the, of that saying. Maybe you want to make some of the parts bigger or smaller and you may not be able to do that. But with slicing, we can. So let's go and find a saying that we're gonna use today. This one is perfect. So I'm going to insert this into design space. Now, what I want to do with this one is I want to make the I'm that a little bit bigger and I wanna have each layer in a different color. So of course, that's a little bit of a tall order for this design. We can also achieve this by using the contour feature. And if you're looking for a video on contouring, I will leave a link up at the top. But for this tutorial, we're gonna be using the slicing feature. So I'm going to open up two different squares. I'm going to unlock the aspect ratio and I'm going to just bring it down like that. I'm gonna cover that section. I'm going to select both the, the rectangle and the design, and I'm going to click slice. So now we have this section, which we can delete, we don't need. That section, we don't really need it, so we can have it there, but we're now able to separate that. We're gonna do exactly the same with the second one. So we're going to unlock the aspect ratio, bring that across there, make sure that we don't have any sections overlapping and we're going to select both of them and click slice. Now again we're going to delete that section and we're going to move that away and delete the gray one. So now we have all three parts separate so we can make each part a different color. We can even do exactly the same with the little lines that are coming off the top here. We can create another shape, unlock the aspect ratio, change that there and then select those two and click slice and delete the sections that we don't need. So now everything is separate. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group those two there and I'm going to just make them a little bit larger and then we can make that yellow or orange. That one we can leave black. This one I'm feeling a little bit of a blue here and sorry not sorry can be in red. So now we've taken one plain design and we've turned it into something that is quite fun, it's funky, we can even make the sorry not sorry a lot a lot bigger if we have the space. <laughs> you can also unlock the aspect ratio there and make it um, a little bit narrower if you want to. It's totally up to you. But it really allows you to customize your designs quite a bit in design space and allows you a lot more flexibility. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Cricut tutorials and crafts in the future. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be kind to someone today. Bye.